Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you have all had a wonderful day. Today's video is my new TBR game for 2022. I'm so excited. So last year I had a little box that I kept prompts in and they helped me choose books off my shelves. This year I have a rather lovely set of playing cards. These are the Flower Fairy playing cards um, and I've always loved fairy based things. So when I saw these cards, I just couldn't wait to get my hands on some. So they have these really, really pretty pictures on. And at the top, it tells you what season they're in. So winter. And then at the bottom, it tells you what fairy they are. So the black thorn fairy. And based on that, I have tried to create a, a TBR game. So based on the suit, um, tells me what time, like what season the fairy is in and also what genre of book that card will give me. So diamonds are spring fairies and that is a contemporary or non-fiction. Uh, hearts are summer fairies and then middle grades or classics. Clubs are autumn fairies and they are fantasy or sci-fi. And then spades are winter fairies and that gets me thriller suspense or graphic novel so i have had to double up on some genres um because obviously there are only four suits um but also based on each suit i have given a prompt um so it's, it's kind of difficult to explain but i hope i'm doing it okay so for example if i get a diamond I know that I have to pick a contemporary non-fiction, but based on what that diamond is, so this one is an ace, um, that would give me the prompt below three star rating on Goodreads. So each card has a different prompt. Some of them have similar prompts. So all the aces are below a three star rating on Goodreads. Um, and jacks are the oldest on my TBR, queens are the newest on my TBR, and kings are above a three star rating on Goodreads. So those ones are all exactly the same through any suit. And then the ones in the middle between two and 10 will have different prompts. So, you know, like a free pass or a black cover or like friend picks or male author, female author, that kind of thing. The only other spin that I'm putting on this is the Jokers. I have left them in the pack. Um, let's see if I can find them. I don't know if I can. Where are we? I think they have Jokers. We'll find out. Yes. Oh, that's the front pack, so I don't need that. So there is a red Joker um for winter and a black joker for spring and i have put that the red joker if it comes up will be my star book for the month so the book that i really really want to read i got this idea off of the lovely nikki and then the black joker will be my bomb book so the book i'm not overly interested in reading so i hope that makes sense to wrap up quickly before we begin each suit is a different genre and then within that suit each card has a different prompt. So my goal for 2022 is to read 60 books. I have lowered it last year, it was 100. And I didn't quite reach that goal. And I felt like I was reading a lot of really short books in order to kind of bump up that goal. So this year, I really want to focus on just reading things that I enjoy taking my time with reading and getting back into it because I did hit a reading slump last year and it was bad um so i am only planning on reading 60 books this year which means i will only be choosing five cards i'm trying to shuffle i'm not very good at it um yeah so i will only be reading five books each month i am going to be continuing to do buddy reads with the lovely nikki um this month for january we have decided to read graceling let me get it up as I can. Uh, we have decided to read Graceling by Kristin Cashore. Um, and I believe this is a Fae book. 
So it just says, in a world where people born with an exceptional skill known as a grace are feared and exploited, Katza carries the burden of a skill that even she despises, the grace of killing. Feared by the court and shunned by those her own age, the darkness of her grace casts a heavy shadow over Katza's life. Yet she remains defiant, and when she stumbles across a mysterious kidnapping, she investigates. Who would want to kidnap an old man? And why? And who was the extraordinary graced man whose fighting abilities rivaled her own? The only thing Katza is sure of is that she no longer wants to kill. The intrigue around this kidnapping offers her a way out, but something insidious and dark lurks behind the mystery. Something spreading from the shadowy figure of a one-eyed king. So, yes, I'm very excited to give these a read. Um, so, yes, this is the first one that me and Nikki are going to be starting in January. So I will pop that over there. Um, I will also show you my star book and my bomb book before we get into it. Obviously, those will only be picked if I select a joker. Um, so my star book is Billy and Me by Giovanna Fletcher. I started this last year and I really got into it. And then for some reason, I put it down and never picked it back up. I can't remember where I was, so it will be a completely new start for the book. If I get the star book, I would really like to read this one. It's about a girl that lives in a village and a boy that comes into the village as part of a film set and their kind of relationship and how they get on, that kind of thing. It's a good book, or what I read of it was good. And then my bomb book is Come a Little Cr Come a Little Closer by Karen Perry. Um, so I believe this is a domestic thriller. Um, and I have to say, domestic thrillers just aren't ones that I tend to pick up. Um, so that's why it is my bomb book. But it just says, Leah is new to Wyndham Park, lonely and isolated. She befriends her upstairs neighbour, Anton. Anton has recently only returned to the neighbourhood after a long absence, and he's lonely too. But what Anton doesn't tell Leah is why he's been away. 19 years ago, he was imprisoned for killing his wife, a wife who looked just like Leah. Was he wrongly convicted or is Leah falling into the trap of a killer? Um, so it sounds really interesting, but it's just not a book I would normally pick up. So it has been on my shelf for a long while. Yes, so that is my star book and my bomb book. So even though I'm doing a buddy read with Nikki, I will still select five books from my cards as they are the ones I kind of set out to read and then if me and Nikki do a buddy read throughout the month that is just going to count as an extra um so yes I am trying to shuffle badly but I'm trying Do -do -do. um and yes we are just gonna select a card off the sorry it's got something stuck on it um yeah we're just gonna select a card at random I'm gonna Try and shuffle it a bit more. It's not really going very well. Um, yes, I'm going to select this one right here. What is it? It is a Jack and it is a Winter Fairy, the Pine Tree Fairy. So there's that. Um, so it's a spade. Where is spade? Spades is Winter Fairies. So a Jack is the oldest on my TBR. Okay, I have no idea what one that's going to be. So I will leave this here for now. And then when I have selected all five, I will disappear off, find my books and come back. Um, and we'll go from there. Right, next up. I'm going to begin. I can't see. This one. What is it? Oh, no. It's the Black Joker, which is spring. It's the Cowslip Fairy. Um, but that means I have to read my bomb book, which is... Come a, little cry. Come a Little Closer by Karen Perry. Why can't I get my mouth around that? So yes, I have my bomb book. That is interesting. <laughs> I had no idea that was going to happen. I felt like with 52 cards, two jokers were just going to mix in and I would never see them. But here we are. So yes, I have got my first joker. If the red joker does come out um, for my star book, then I will just discard it because now I have my bomb book. I can't read my star book. So that's annoying, but fine. <laughs> um, right, let's have a quick shuffle again. Do, do, do. I'm a terrible shuffler, so... I mean, I know they're all mixed up, but I am a terrible shuffler. Right, let's spread them out. We're going to go for uh, this one. What is it? It is a nine of clubs. So it's Winter Fairy again, the Hazel Cat... Catkin? 
packing fairy. There we go, number nine, a blue cover. So you need to find a book with a blue cover. Okay, that's fine. So far, we're all getting the um, the winter cards, which is funny because we're just coming out of winter. We're kind of still in winter, aren't we, in January? Um, but I have two picks to go, so we shall see. Let's, let's find out. We have this one. What is it? Ah, it's the Red Joker. So I'm going to put that one aside now that I know that I can't read it. And we're just going to pick again. And we're going for this one. Ah, oh, it's the Three of Spades again. Um, so it's Winter, the Shepherd's Purse Fairy. Some of these are really weird, but they're cute. Um, and the Three of Spades is a gifted book of any genre. So I don't have to stick to thriller, suspense or graphic novel. Um, which obviously I do for um, all the cards picked so far. So obviously the Jack um, Spade, even though it's the oldest on TBR, it still has to be a thriller, suspense or graphic novel. And the same with the Nine of Spades, um, which can be a blue cover, but it still has to be a thriller, suspense or graphic novel. Um if I don't have a book for those, I will draw again, but I'm sure I will. So I'm not going to worry about that for now. Then obviously the three of spades that I just pulled out says that I can pick a gifted book of any genre. So yay. Right, then finally, hopefully we'll get something that's not a spade. I'm going to shuffle again. When Dre gets home later, I'm going to get him to like effectively shuffle this pack of cards because I'm so bad. Right, we're, pull we're going for it, we're going for it. We're gonna go for this one right here. Hey, it's a four of diamonds. It's the spring speedwell fairy. So for spring, I get to pick a contemporary or non-fiction and the four of diamonds is a friend picks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna message my lovely friend, Nikki. I am going to send her a picture of my contemporary and non-fiction shelves, 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 and she can pick a book for me. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to go and investigate what books I can pick off my shelves in the thriller, suspense and graphic novel category. So bear with me and I'll be back shortly. OK, I'm back. So it's actually not gone as badly as I thought it was going to, considering basically all the prompts are of the same genre. Um, but here we go. So obviously, just to recap, the first book I have to read is Graceling by Kristin Cashore by, um, with the lovely Nikki. Super, super excited about this. And then I had um, Jack of Spades, which was the oldest book of the thriller suspense graphic novel category on my TV. TBR and that is Death of a Hollow Man by Caroline Graham it's a Midsummer Murders one um I love the Midsummer Murders series and she only wrote seven books which is really sad um but yes so I have this one and it says backstage nerves are fraying and revenge is on its way as Causton Amateur Dramatic Society prepares for the opening night of Amadeus in the wings Esling Carmichael suspects his wife of having an affair with the leading man and where better to set scores than the stage Chief Inspector Barnaby expects an evening of entertainment attending only to show support for his wife. But when someone turns up, turns Eslin's final grand gesture into a gruesome coup to theatre, Barnaby's investigation suddenly begins. Um, I read the first book, Killings at Badger's Drift, and really loved it. So I am excited to head into Death of a Hollow Man. So yes, there is that one. I'm just going to tuck the card back in, actually. Uh, then... Obviously, next up, we had The Black Joker, which was the bomb book, which is Come a Little Closer by Karen Perry. I won't read the back of that again. Um, then next, we had... Oh, have I put the cards in the wrong place? No, I haven't. No, I haven't. So the next one I had was The Nine of Spades, which was to pick a book with a blue cover in the thriller suspense category and I got this one it was the couple next door by Sherry Lapina which is another domestic thriller um 
To be fair, this one doesn't sound terrible. I have heard fairly decent things about this one. It just wasn't a book that I was planning on picking up anytime soon, especially as we've got Come a Little Closer as well. So I have two domestic thrillers that I wouldn't normally pick up in the same month, but we'll see. So it just says, um, you never know what's happening on the other side of the wall. Your neighbour told you that she didn't want your six month old daughter at the dinner party. Nothing personal, she just couldn't stand her crying. Your husband said it would be fine, after all you only live next door. You'll have the baby monitor and you'll take it in turns to go back every half an hour. Your daughter was sleeping when you checked on her last, but now as you race up the stairs in your deathly quiet house, your worst fears are realised. She's gone. You've never had to call the police before, but now they're in your home and who knows what they'll find there. What would you be capable of when pushed to your limit? It does sound really good. It's just not one I would normally pick up. So there is that one. Then let me just check my book because I can't remember for the life of me what some of the prompts were. The next one was the, where are we? Oh my goodness. The three of, the three of spades. And I got to pick a gifted book of any genre. I think I've, got, I've done this one out of order. Oh well, so it's yeah, a gifted book of any genre. And I managed to fit in A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Mass. Now, the lovely Nikki bought me this last year, I think. And it's been sat on my shelf and sat on my shelf and I kept meaning to try and pick it up and just never got round to it. And we've been talking about Sarah J Mass recently and I just couldn't wait to try and get this one on my TBR. So here it is. I'm so excited. I only have the first book and I know nothing about it other than what's written on the back and people's glowing reviews of this series. Um, so yeah, I know nothing. Uh, so I'm really, really excited to read it. I'm kind of hoping that I'm gonna love it and then I can maybe sneakily purchase um the, ne the next books in the series um but we shall see so it says i think it's fair i'm gonna i'm gonna say fair and hope it's right fair is a huntress she thinks nothing of slaughtering a wolf to capture its prey but like all moral she fears what lingers mercilessly beyond the forest and she will learn that taking the life of a magical creature comes at a high price imprisoned in an enchanted court in her enemy's kingdom Faya is free to roam but forbidden to escape. Her captor's body bears the scars of fighting and his face is always masked, but his piercing stare draws her ever closer. As Faya's feelings for Tamlin begin to burn through every warning she's been told about his kind, an ancient, wicked shadow grows. Faya must find a way to break a spell or lose her heart forever. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I haven't read a fantasy romance since I read the cruel print series and I loved it so I am so 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 excited for this one and I'm so happy that I managed to get it in this TBR so there's that and then the final book was the four of diamonds which was a friend picks and it had to be in the contemporary non-fiction genre and the lovely Nikki picked the switch for me by Beth O'Leary I did read The Flat Share last year and really, really loved it. And Nikki picked this one because she'd said she'd seen it on BookTube and heard it was quite good. So it says, Lena is too young to feel stuck. Eileen is too old to start over. It's time for the switch. After blowing a big presentation at work, Lena takes a two month sabbatical and escapes her grandmother Eileen's house for some overdue rest. It escapes too, sorry. Eileen is nearly single and about to turn 80. She'd like a second chance at love, but her tiny Yorkshire village doesn't offer many eligible gentlemen. A life swap seems the perfect solution. But with a rabble of unruly OAPs to contend with, as well as the distractingly handsome local school teacher, Lena learns that switching lives isn't straightforward. In London, Eileen is a huge hit with her new neighbours and with the online dating scene. But is her perfect match nearer to home than she first thought? So yes, I'm very excited. I was really worried when I was pulling these cards out that the TBR was going to be really like a slog because all the like prompts were from the same genre. But I don't think we've done too badly. The fact that this one is from a different genre and it's contemporary, which I do love. I managed to sneak in a fantasy book, which is my 
um i'm gonna try and read more fantasy this year that is my goal um so to be able to sneak one in when i didn't think i was going to be able to because the prompt allowed me to switch out to a different genre made me really happy um couple next door we'll see how it goes it's a domestic thriller it might be great it might not be we'll see bomb book we'll see hopefully it's good um a old favorite i've never read it before but i am a favorite of the tv series and i love the first book so hopefully this one will be an easy read and then i am very excited to get another fantasy um series started and to start it with nikki very very excited so yes we've got some decent books the six here obviously as i said the five are my priority and then if we do a buddy read throughout either month or any month then that is a bonus book for me um so yeah i'm actually pretty excited for this tbr we'll see how we get on i have no idea i have my fingers crossed we shall see i um <laughs> what was that that was really weird I also wanted to mention that I am planning on doing a bit of a book buying game ban thing um, but I will mention that in my no buy video um, but for now I really hope you guys enjoyed this TBR and you're really excited. Um, if you have read any of these books let me know what you thought, no spoilers, in the comment section down below. Can you tell I'm really excited? Oh my god! Um, yeah, take care and I'll see you guys in my next video. Let me know what you're reading and what you're excited about.